about Florida State for just a minute because for the first time since 2016, they won a season opener. They broke the five-game losing skid big time, pummeling Duquesne. Uh, it was the earliest game ever played at Dope Campbell Stadium. So, so far, so good. And it's an early start for Florida State. Nevertheless, uh, this is what they'd like to see rather than the contrary. Sam, uh, what does this mean for the Seminoles? Well, this is a huge win, and people are going to say Florida State beating Duquesne, huge win, FCS program. It's a huge win. Last year, Florida State lost to Jacksonville State, which is an FCS program as well, and so you can never take winning in college football for granted. I was mostly impressed by Jordan Travis. Yes, not just his ability to pass the ball, but there were a couple times in the end zone, he was willing to, as I say, stick his face in the fan, right? He ran for a touchdown in the middle of a lot of mess, and so I, I was impressed by that specifically. I was impressed by his will to continue to lead his team and say, hey, I'm going to be a part of this thing too. So Florida State beat UK. No one is writing home about it, but you should be excited about it because it shows massive improvement from how Florida State started the season last year. Defensively, they were exactly what they needed to be. I'm not sure I've found uh, an adequate replacement for Jermaine Johnson yet, but hey, hopefully that guy will emerge here in the next couple weeks. Inside out, they were rock solid, I think, on all three levels defensively offensively, they can go three deep at running back, which is massive. We all know about Treshawn Ward. We all know about Lawrence Toafili. But now the emergence of Trey Benson, I think, too, makes that running back room very, very scary. And you referenced it, Sam. If Travis can hit some of those downfield throws like he did with what appears to be an improved wide receiver core, then they could be in a pretty good spot. The one thing that I saw that has been at Florida State's Achilles heel for a while is the offensive line. People are going to point to, well, 406 yards rushing. But if you actually look a little bit deeper, a lot of that rushing came with contact at or near the line of scrimmage, and the running backs made miraculous plays. And the protection at times was a little bit leaky. So the fact that they're giving up pressures and penetration to Duquesne is concerning. We know that that group's had some injuries. They've had some bad luck. Hopefully they can get back and play a little bit better against LSU because they're going to have to because that's a tenacious front they're going to see on Sunday night. Oh, there's no question about that. But say what you will about who they beat. When you haven't won a season opener since 2016, guys, you know that's in your mind. I mean, you, you can't – you, you got to get over that hump. And so, at least to that end, they certainly did. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.